Hepinize merhaba arkadaşlar. No Hyper kanalına hoş geldiniz. Bugün sizinle birlikte Battlefield'ın final partı olan hiçbir şey yazılı değil attı final partını oynayacağız. Evet, sonuna geldik. Bu serüvenin de. Ee, Arabistan Lovers oynayacağız. Pek söz etmeyeyim zaten biliyorsunuz kendisini. Yavaştan başlayalım. Osmanlı'ya karşı olacağız tekrardan. Alajlar Mezopotamya 1918 ilkbaharı. Büyük savaş tüm dünyayı sarar. Orta Doğu'nun çöllerinde Arap aşiretleri uzun yıllardır altında izlediği Osmanlı İmparatorluğu'na karşı ayaklanır. Pek sanmıyorum ama neyse. Siyan bastırmak için Osmanlılar en gelişmiş teknolojilerini kullanır. İmparatorluğun acımasız topçuları, muharebe uçakları ve zırhlı vasıtalara alt sırtında tüfek kullanan okuyamadım. Sıra dışı bir İngiliz subayı olan T.E. Lawrence hareket kabiliyeti çok büyük, küçük bir asi kuvvetiyle çalışır. Osmanlı kuvvetleri kafa kafaya çarpışmaz, çarpışmazlar. Başka bir yol bulmalıdırlar. The Arabian Desert. Arap çölü. A vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. İşte Karaman göstermeye çalışıyorlar. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. In the desert you rely on good plan. But you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. <coughs> Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. Now, let's go to the Tam bakıyorum buna. Ben ne yapıyorum? Ben Ben neye bakıyorum soruna sahip Yukarı mı çıkmam lazım Tamam. Çıkamıyor muyuz buradan? Tamam, buradan aşağı indiriz. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Evet. 
tribesmen fought unconventionally, using weapons they knew well. Endurance, individual intelligence, and courage were their primary assets. Allah fark etti var. Oo. Tamam. Tamam haritayı yani çözmek için ilk görmem normal. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Though powerful and efficient, firearms would often attract attention. You have to be prepared for the Ottomans to respond in kind. şey riskimiz fazla Hadi Ne diyorsun ya? Fırtın nasıl başladı? Nerede bu? Aa. Nasıl gördü ya? Ölmedim ha. Oo. When your enemy has better weapons and better equipment than you, steal from the enemy. Başka yok mu? Neyse. Biz bakalım. Bu mu? Evet. Get to the 
Fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Oh. Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. Oh, but Rus accent on me, sir. We don't Rus accent on you. How enchanting you are, my dear. Atman. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run. Soon all that you know and all that you love <coughs> will be ashes. You will all be free to die. Oh, oh you animal! Zara! Oh. Now I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. <laughs> Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one, you mean? You can never stop the progress of machines. One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. Inshallah. <laughs> we shall see, my friend. Of course, obtaining the code book was not enough. To destroy this iron dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans have named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. Right. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. The Bedouin treasured their horses, and in return, those animals granted their riders unparalleled speed in the village. <laughs>
Burada bir yat daha var tamam. Hani ilk harita. Ama ta bilmem neresinden başlatmasın ya. Başka bir şey istemiyorum. Komutan bu muymuş? single order wouldn't be enough. Here. Ottoman protocol required the message to be received in triple before the train would acknowledge it as genuine. Sen, o Var mı anda oynuyorsun sanki oğlum bu ne? 